A cat call and you're slapped with a fine. That's the thinking of the French government once it votes on a plan to curb street harassment this week. According to the Equalities Minister Marlène Schippa, the first fines will be handed out from this autumn. Offenders will be fined between 90 to 750 euros. Now the vote comes as a 22-year-old student, Marie Laguerre, posted a video showing how she was slapped on the streets of Paris after standing up to verbal abuse. Outside a bar in Paris's 19th arrondissement, a young woman is whistled at and humiliated by a man. Then, shockingly, the aggressor punches her in the face. I was returning home from work and walking in the street. I passed a man who made dirty noises, comments and whistled at me. I was pissed off. In my head, I felt all the hate from all those times when someone had spoken to me like that in the street. I said, shut up. A moment later, he had turned round and I knew he was going to hit me. It was quite violent. Marie decided to not be silent. On Saturday, she published the video of the attack on Twitter, taken from the bar next door. Now shared over a thousand times, it has drawn reactions from around the world. 2018, highlighting the everyday of many women. Many tweets show women who want action to be taken. Since I saw Marie hit, my nerves are strained. I'm in fight mode. Others have been from government ministers also reacting strongly to the video. France's Secretary of State for Digital Affairs, Munir Majoubi, underlined that women should feel safe in public spaces. This man thinks anything is allowed. Harassment, insults and assault. The street belongs to all. French Gender Equality Minister Marlene Schiappa insists that the video could change attitudes around street harassment. Her alert will raise awareness. We only hear that street harassment is like that, that it is not serious, that it is inevitable. It remains to be seen if the video will have a concrete effect on stopping harassment. An inquiry has begun, but so far the attacker has not been found. Now joining me on the France 24 debate tonight, Annette levy a journalist and author of a book chronicling the Me Too shockwave. Thank you very much for being with us on the programme. As well as France 24's Catherine Bennett. Good to see you. Now, first, I want to start off with you. This government proposal, which will, which will be voted on this week, is this enough? It's plenty. It's a very tough law, what they're doing, because you can be fined if you whistle at a woman on the street, if you just follow her too heavily. I mean, it's a very, very strong step. Before, you could be jailed for attacking a woman. But you saw what happened there in, in that she video, which attacked, we just... She was physically attacked. That, that's... OK, she was slapped, law. but the guy walks away, even though people come up. You no, know, this is what I found very strange. Like, nobody is arresting him, you know. Like, is it like if uh, you run and you grab her bag, mm. people are going to arrest you and call the police. In that case, it is so an attack on a woman, and they didn't call the police. They didn't do anything. They, they tried to stop the guy, but they didn't arrest him. And that's very strange. But, I mean, as citizens, do you expect the men to sit and, like, you know, physically hold someone down? Is that is what's supposed to happen? Yeah, I mean, you had, like, uh, half a dozen men around him. They don't hold him. Yeah. I, w I would hold him. i say, OK, call the police. He attacked her. He, it's very violent. I mean, this scene that you just saw is extremely violent. It's not just harassing, you know, it's attacking. And that's under the law already. You don't need a law for that. But what Marlene Schiappa, our minister, is Equality. trying to do yeah. is to make people think that it's, you cannot just come on to a woman be a uh, sexist, uh, being nasty, you cannot do that on the street. You have to stop, and otherwise you're going to be fine. I don't know if it's going to work, but that's very new, and I don't think you have so many laws like this in the Western world. Uh, clearly, uh, we don't. Uh, now, Catherine, I want to bring you in, because you're a 27-year-old woman living in Paris. Mm -hmm. What's it like living here? How often are you harassed? Um, I am harassed very regularly, I would say almost every day, particularly because it's summer. So, uh, and also I go jogging mm -hmm. every day. And, and you wear a mini skirt. And I don't wear mini skirts, but when I'm jogging, I'll be wearing a short, shorts. Exactly. And of course, men why see not? that as an invitation. And why not? And why not? Because it's, there's a heat wave in Paris right now. But as a result of that, I, whenever I go running, I will receive comments, vulgar gestures, car horns, whistles, cat calling. I've had people block the street in front of me and refuse to let me pass. I, I've had, and I have been physically aggressed. I've been attacked by men in the street. Now, you, you have gone to complain to the mm. police. Every time did you complain? 
Uh, every time I've been hit, I have gone to the police and complained about it, and this has happened and to me three times. And what did the police do? Um, the most recent time was a few months ago, where a man came up to me in the street, um, tried to talk to me, tried to flirt with me. I told him to leave me alone in no uncertain terms. He refused to. He followed me when I told him to leave me alone. I was trying to film him actually with my phone to try and get some evidence. He then hit me in the back of the head as I was walking, and then when I fell to the ground, he kicked me a couple of times. Mm. And what shocked me, I mean, obviously that was very shocking, but what shocked me even more after that experience was the way the police reacted mm. when I went to speak to them. And the first policeman I spoke to, he said, well, where are your bruises? Did you call the police? Did you go to hospital at the time? But if, yeah. you're, if you're at the police station, clearly you've... You've but I went straight. the day after, you see, okay. and they said, well, why didn't you come to us? And you were not strangled, you were not half dead. Right. And, and I, what I hope with this law is that, although people are saying that it will be hard to apply, and I do think that's true to an extent, I hope that it will at least change attitudes, change attitudes amongst the police, who now have the law on the their police, side. The police, yeah. The Be police, exactly. Yeah, because that's very important Annette, point. I want to bring you in again, because we do have laws in this country which often are not yeah, applied. We have you cannot throw, laws. Yeah, but you cannot throw your cigarettes. People do that all the time. Mm. You, you cannot let your... You have to clean up after your dog. Not everyone cleans up after their dog. How is this going to be applied? How is this going to be any different? Well, they're going to give a few fines. They're going to try. And it's going to make... I don't think it's going to be a very legal thing, but it's going to make people think. First of all, like you just say, Catherine, policemen. I mean, when you go to police station, they're going to listen to you because, as you say, there's a law now. And uh, men are going to be a little scared. I mean, they're going to think about it before, you know, uh, making uh, uh, sexist remarks. or uh, They're going to think about it. Now, France recently won the World Cup. Now, there were huge celebrations on the streets. Everyone saw all across the TV screens par par in Paris and all across this country, people celebrated. A lot of the women who were out celebrating were sexually harassed. And they did go up to police officers and say, look, I was sexually harassed by this man there. And the police didn't do anything, saying we were here to keep this area safe. Because this is what has been happening for centuries, you know. Like women in a crowd, like the crowd on the night of the victory. Yeah. Uh, they are harassed, you know. I wouldn't go myself. I'm too scared to go in uh, such a crowd because I know I'm going to get into trouble uh, around mm. 11 o'clock midnight uh, when people are drunk and so on. So it has been going on for centuries. But now, and the reason why I'm positive, I think people are going to think about it, you know. They're going to be more aware of the situation because women like this uh, woman, Marie Laguerre, who oui. dared react and, and yell at her attacker, and she knew she was going to be hit, more or less. I mean, when you yell at a guy like this, you're going to get hit. But I, he did it. I want to talk about the culture here in France, because recently we have a French actress, Sand Van Roy, who has accused Luc Besson of a very influential French director known around the world of rape. Yet that story has not gained much traction in France. Why is that? It's, uh, well... In Are French women more like supposed to be more accepting? First of all, it's not. It's still case is not that clear. You know, in the Weinstein affair. You had like 100 women who complained. I mean, the, the numbers are enormous. Plus, you have very famous actresses like Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, people can identify with her. But isn't the point in, of the in, Me Too? Uh, in Luc Besson's case, it's not. It looks more like uh, you know, uh, one to one. Uh, pro it's not but here. But it's still rape. No, but the whole isn't the point of the Me Too, raped, Me Too no movement uh, the to, to listen thing, to the woman essentially, yeah. and o m more often the than not believe the woman. The good thing is that gonna, people are going to listen to her, and there's going to be a legal procedure, it's going to be, a, it's going to be an investigation, so things are going to move. But this woman and a lot of young actresses had been scared to talk because they knew they would not get a part in any movie if uh, they were going to attack Luc Besson or Harvey Weinstein or, or people mm -hmm. like this. They couldn't do it because they couldn't get a job in Hollywood or in the French cinema as well. We're going to have to leave it there. I'm afraid we're completely out of time. That's it for this edition of the debate. I'd like to thank my guests, Annette Levy-Willa and France 24's own Catherine Bennett. Thank you for watching.